Gay Pratt's with me. Gary, update on things around the stadium. As you can see, the uh, the men are out at work. It's getting closer now to becoming a reality. Absolutely. So we're, we're more than halfway through the project now. Um, we're on track. Hopefully, with all the good weather we've been having recently, the pitch is, is coming along really well. Um, lots going on behind the scenes, not just with the pitch, but with the surrounds of the ground, everything COVID um, and, and all risk assessments and making sure things are ready for the start of the new season in October. What's been good to see is the amount of people that have taken up bookings for the 3G pitch. There's not many left, but still a, still a couple of uh, places to fill. Yeah, there's a few places, but um, we're, we're talking a lot of the adult sides um, have taken up local areas. Senior clubs have been fantastic in approaching us. Um, but one thing, one aspect we are really looking at is to drive through for youth teams to come in. Um, we've opened up additional slots now between five and six, Monday to Friday, and we're going to heavily discount those as part of our Hawks community program with the new um, launch of Hawks Foundation coming up very soon. Um, we've probably seen, well, obviously you would know mm -hmm. personally, but fans uh, across the club will see our new, um, our community with our passion um, mm -hmm. Uh, strap line on Twitter and Facebook and any other social media so we're really trying to drive that now and that will come with a number of heavily discounted prize rates for five to six slots uh, Monday to Friday so any youth teams that are out there that look are still struggling for places to train in the winter please get in contact with the club and we'll see what we can do to help absolutely for the kids there's no probably better place to train or play than at the Premier Non-League Stadium? Absolutely. I mean, we've had a number of emails from coaches who actually can't believe that they managed to get a, a slot here at Wesley Park. Um, moving forward, obviously, we want to make that the norm. We want to make that uh, an experience that any child, any adult, anybody that will play here thinks, oh, I've got to come back again, and I'll come back again and again. So it's all about that community engagement and really driving forward the fact that this club has, has, has been reborn, so to speak, and, and really really going through everything we can to make the provision of football really happy after a really challenging 2020 with Covid and the, the short seasons last season so really basically trying to help everybody out. For the kids it's been fantastic also for the grown-ups leisure leagues will be coming here which is a, a massive thing for us because they are the world's biggest provider of six-a-side football. Absolutely and with the local franchise of leisure leagues coming into us on Sunday nights and Monday evenings They've got a great offer at the moment by where there's no sign-up fee for a team. So if you have a five-a-side team, please get in contact either with us here at the club and we can put you forward to Leisure Leagues or visit their, their site direct and you take up that, that great offer that they've, they've put in there. Um, the, the price comparisons to, to other local five-a-side leagues is actually cheaper to play here inside the stadium than it would be in a normal five-a-side centre in a lot of places. So please, by all means, get in contact. If you're looking for that recreation football, we're here to help. We have to talk about it. I know you don't particularly like to, no one particularly likes to talk about it, but COVID. Yeah. We're hoping to get the fans back into the ground at the start of next month. Touch wood, of course. And I know that yourself and everyone around the club are making sure that all the safety precautions are in place that when the fans can come back in there, come back into a COVID-secure ground. Absolutely. So when I joined at the start of August, I had a nice, nice batch of hair, no greys. The greys are slightly coming through. Um, but the work that the board have done here, and in particular, um, obviously it is my responsibility, but in particular as a volunteer, Lynn Meller, who is, who is our COVID officer, um, the amount of, not red tape, but pr provision that we have to go through to, to make sure that we are COVID secure, um, and that everything around the ground is ready, geared up to go. So that's the introduction of um, changes in how to get into the ground, how to leave the ground, where to sit, where you can stand, signage, anything. And that's before we even talk about PPE and, and, and any of the sanitisation um, situations we have to go through. And then on top of that, providing the same for Portsmouth Women, for Clanfield and any other user that we've got here. It's been a headache. It's, it's a headache that every club's going through, um, but in particular the challenge here is not knowing what the pitch is going to be like because obviously with the artificial coming in, um, it's a lot of changes, a lot going on and we're up for the challenge. As a unit, with with the team ethics fantastic here and like the buzzword at the moment around the club, the Hawks are flying high, so let's, let's, let's keep going. It has been absolutely non-stop since the playoffs. And when that pitch goes in at the start of October, OK, it'll only be the start, but it'll mark a huge victory in the progression that this club's going in. The, 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 one of the key 
emphasis of this club previously is there's been a stigma about the pitch itself and about the fact that it's, it gets very wet. We're not denying it, um, but but the provision of the artificial pitch means that we can we can take that next step forward. We can we can guarantee that we've got games here, obviously with bar and snow and thunder and lightning, which you can't help. Um, but we can move and we can take that next step. And it's not just us; it's it's everybody. So the, the whole community are buying into it, whether it's localised here within the Haven to Waterloo, the Haven Borough, especially. Um, but obviously, we're branching out into into Sussex and into Portsmouth. Everybody's excited, and, and it's just it's a pleasure to be involved in, to be honest. And, and it's something that I'm looking forward to taking on um, and, and really building for, to stabilise that future for the. Gary, great to speak to you again. Thanks for your time.